In this video, we're going to be using House of Mammoth Kryptonite and the Blackland Ear Eraser. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We have a good one for you today, but before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, there you have it. Let's get into it. Uh, so today we're going to be using for the first time House of Mammoth. It's the first time I've ever used a mammoth soap. And this one is Kryptonite. And man, it smells great. Let me go ahead and put the notes for you right there. It has a beautiful, beautiful citrus wood scent that I just love it. It is fantastic. It's probably one of my favorite scents uh, this year. I don't think it came out this year. I think it's been around a while. It's my first time trying it, and man, I just love the scent. It is pricey, though. $25 for four ounces, and our cost chart there, that is painful. $6.25 an ounce. However, they do give $1 uh, per tub to Restore NYC, a charity which has to do with uh, trying to help prevent um, trafficking, human trafficking, which is a, a good and uh, noble cause. The ingredients, we'll put it for you right there. This is a uh, tallow-based soap. contains duck fat. It was very easy to lather, had no problems whatsoever um, lathering it. I'll show you a lather shot right there. Really, really nice. And the scent on this is just fantastic. It is right at that medium level. I just love it. I love the artwork too on the tub. I think it's just awesome. So I really look forward to using the, the Mammoth for the first time today. The razor is the Blackland Era. And this time we have the SB plate and I'm using number five, which is the most efficient. And this time I put the, the rubber uh, grips on the razor. Last time I did not, this time I did. These things right here are the little rubber uh, grips that you can put on there to give you additional grip. I didn't have any slipping without them, but I put them on just so I could show you. And this is, if you haven't seen a uh, real talk from this past Friday with Shane, I suggest you watch that. You'll learn everything you wanna know about this razor. This is a 3D printed stainless steel and CNC machined razor. It's going to be retailing for $75 sometime this year. It will come with one plate, but you have 10 plates to choose from. And really, really awesome. I shaved with it once already with the open comb on level five, and today we'll go with level five on the SB. Really nice razor, um, I think. There's a look at the top if you're interested. And inside is the Persona blade that Shane sends with his razors. Okay. Let's get into it. Enough yapping. It's time to get into it. And yes, I'm back in Charlotte much sooner um, than expected. I was only home like two days. And then um, yesterday I found out my mom, uh, she just wasn't doing well. Her back basically went out and so she's not able to do a lot. So I just came right back. I had planned on staying home a couple weeks, but uh, didn't work out that way. But that's okay. We're here to help, you know. I know my parents would do the same for me. And uh, it's an honor and a privilege to, to come and help as best I can. Man, what a scent on this soap. Oh, man, I like that a lot. Uh, by the way, the brush for today is the uh, Maritime Brush Co. Sort of hybrid. Hope you can see the coin right there. I'm looking forward to using Mammoth. This is my first time trying Mammoth because before, um, Mammoth was, um, it was kind of hard to come by and it was like drops, just special drops. And now they have stock all the time or, you know, things go out of stock, but they, it's not sort of special release model. Before it was like, there would be these drops and it would sell out very quickly. And for me, I mostly, mostly want to use products that people have a chance to, to use also and like and enjoy. I'm not, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the, um, just special release sort of thing. And, um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how many months ago or maybe a year ago, they started just um, having things in stock, stocking up the vendors um, and stuff like that. And I thought, okay, that's nice. It's, it's time to try some mammoths, you know, because just special release, special release, special release wasn't for me. There's nothing wrong with doing it, but I like to, for the most part, use soaps that other people have a chance to use as well. 
And now Mammoth is a lot more accessible, and so I figured it was time to get around to trying it. And it is good, I'm telling you right now, this lather is nice. May not be able to see it here in the light here, but trust me when I tell you, this is going to be slick, and it smells great. Um, citrus and wood, it's not just citrus, because everybody knows I love citrus scents. But the wood in it just sort of rounds it really nicely. It's very good. It's a very good scent, and, and obviously, I think it would be one of my, I think it will be one of my favorite <laughs> scents going forward. Uh, by the way, I'm using the Hendrix Bowl still. I've really been enjoying that so far. It's the only one I brought with me this time. So let's get involved here with the Blackland era. Again, coming sometime this year. That feels nice. Very nice indeed. You can get some blade feel on this, but it's not meant to be, you know, uber, uber. Um, aggressive but there's enough blade feel there to let you know what you're doing you can feel it cutting which I like but it's not too much so for me I really enjoyed my first use with this razor I think on five it's definitely efficient um, enough at least to meet my needs and I do like efficient razors or aggressive if you want to call it that but uh, I like this a lot based on very limited use though, keep that in mind. This is not a, you know, I haven't had time to use this a lot, but we will, we will be using it quite a bit to let you know what you think. 75 bucks, you know, that's awesome. Made in the United States, designed and made in the United States, using 3D printed technology. Yes, 3D printed. <laughs> it's a different kind of 3D printing, but again, watch Real Talk. Um, and I'll link that below if you want to sort of hear about that process. It's fascinating, or at least was fascinating to me. <laughs> oh man, very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, do I prefer the SB over the OC? I don't know yet. I don't know. But it feels nice and smooth. Again, that's the way I would sort of characterize this razor o overall. Smooth. It is efficient enough with plate five for me while also being smooth, which is exactly what you want in a razor. Or it's exactly um, what I want at least. The other day I called this razor an everyman sort of razor. In other words, it's got a little something for everybody. It's probably not gonna be too much because you're gonna be able to find a plate you probably enjoy if you prefer mild razors. And unless you want the most extreme of aggression, like maybe, the Yachi Knight Helmet or Yachi Aggressive Slant, those are really, really uh, aggressive. Unless you want that, you'll probably find a plate that you can get along with. Um, four or five, something like that. Now, people will ask me, and they do it all the time, and this is just, it's a question I can't really answer. Um, how does this, what plate does this equate to on the carb? What plate does this equate to on the Rockwell and the answer is I don't know. Um, I mean I, whenever I answer I'm just guessing because I just honestly don't know um, Every razor has its own unique head geometry and characteristics about them And so it's hard to say oh, I think this is equivalent to plate X or Y um, So it is for me so you know, it's I try to answer those questions, but it's really not an apples to apples comparison, so it's really hard to say. But I'll tell you what, no problems with the lather on the mammoth here. Really nice creamy lather. You see it blooping there, <laughs> plenty of hydration in it. I really pushed the hydration on this because I wanted to see how much it would handle. So it's a little bloopy, but I tell you what, it is slick and it smells great. I love the scent on this. So you can see that hanging there. I got plenty of hydration in here, which is what I was shooting for. I wanted to see what it could handle. It's my first time with it, and I said, let's go for it. <laughs> it is a nice quality soap, though, I can tell you that, but I am blooping like crazy. <laughs> Maybe a little overhydrated, but that's okay. It will not affect the shave adversely. adversely. It's just a little messy. That's okay. I was gonna say earlier, sort of like the holy black model, and let me just say, let me caveat this by saying there's nothing wrong with doing business that way if you want to. It's just not for me. The whole black model of just special releases um, and a sort of limited supply is just not, 
it, it's not my thing. I want people to be able to enjoy these things, you know. Especially as someone who showcases products, you know, I want, I want you to be able to get them. Now that said, um, sometimes I'll buy a special edition, you know, so just like everybody else, but I don't go to the well on that very often. Um, I will do it on occasion, but previously Mammoth kind of was like, you know, a, a drop, sort of limited availability. And I was like, that's just not for me. But now um, they're making plenty of soap. Um, they, they have a lot of stock uh, and they will sell out of things, but they're continuing to make stuff. And I like that. And this one, by the way, um, kryptonite is seasonal. So if you want it, you might want to get it before they they sell out of it. Um, it is really good. I'm loving it. So my first pick from House of Mammoth or Mammoth as it used to be called is really a good pick for me. I like it a lot. It's fantastic. Wow. So no buyer's remorse there, even though it's pricey and you know me folks, I don't, uh, do I ever want to pay $6 and 25 cents for a shaving soap? No. Do I think any shaving soap should be priced that way? Probably not, but but when I get a scent that I love, will I pay it? Yes, I will. And I don't have any buyer's remorse. So from that perspective, <laughs> you know, I don't want to, but I will. Um, as long as it's a great scent. Now, if you miss on scent at this price, it's pretty painful. <laughs> but if you get a hit and you're happy with it, then you're happy with it. And I'm happy with this. Got good residual slickness. It's definitely a good quality so there are no quality issues with mammoth i can tell you that already so shaving on residual here with no problem whatsoever very nice just a really pleasant experience i love this scent um it's not a citrus smash in your face like sea spice lime is it's more subtle um but both are very, very nice. They're not similar in my view, but there's brightness in there and then the wood really complements it and I like it a lot. It is a well done fragrance, you know, cause a lot of people are like, he just likes anything lime. That's really not true. I do love lime and citrus generally, but when somebody has a nice composition like this one, whereas they're working in other elements, um, I think it's really nice cause in this one, there's lime, uh, uh, balsam, fir, cedar, cypress. So you see those woody elements in the, in the notes. There's other stuff too. Um, it comes together beautifully, in my opinion. And so this is definitely one of my favorite scents of this year. Although I don't, I think it's, it, it's not a 2021 offering, I don't think. And if I'm wrong on that, please correct me. <laughs> but either way, for me, it's new to me and I love it. <laughs> So if you're interested and you find yourself liking a lot of the scents that I like, pick it up before they sell out because um, that one and Sonder, which I also purchased, um, sadly it'll arrive at my house and I won't be there and it'll take me a while to get to it. I also ordered the splash for this after smelling the soap. That's how much I like it. So it's very good. So I will definitely try other um, uh, mammoth offerings that that look good to me on scent, but this one looked the best. And so also pulled the trigger on Sonder because that one is also um, a seasonal, I think. So grab those if you want them before they're out for the season. But hopefully this will come back uh, in the spring and summer, you know, once he sells out next year, because it is worthy. <laughs> I love it. It's really great and good quality there. As you see me shaving on residual slickness, the razor, I'm really loving it. Um, I don't know, it's, again, the way I would characterize it, smooth. Smooth, it's not, there's no roughness whatsoever to this razor, it's just, it's really hitting the spot. It's giving me the efficiency that I desire with the smoothness that I desire. And that's kind of best case scenario for a razor. Man, that is nice. <laughs> what a really pleasant, shade with really excellent equipment. All right, man, I tell you what, that was fun. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned.
And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our Razor Rock alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. And of course, that's the way we like to do it every day. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towel off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the Magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with House of Mammoth Kryptonite. Beautiful scent, beautiful quality soap. It's pricey, but it's good. I enjoyed it. No buyer's remorse on that. We used the Blackland Era razor, which of course was sent to me from uh, Blackland to uh, try out. This razor is not out yet, but it's supposed to be coming sometime this year. The world's first 3D printed slash CNC machined razor um, on plate five, nice and smooth. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I have the grip rings on there today. As you can see, really smooth ride with this razor. I like that a lot. We used our Maritime Brush Co. brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, we used our Hendrix Classic Classics and Company bowl. These are sold out now, but it's getting more soon. So keep an eye on the website uh, for that. And we're gonna keep working on this uh, Razor Rock um, Irish countryside because I'm getting close and hopefully we will finish this one soon and we'll have finished yet another one. And let's pour that in there. And man, oh man, we've had a great shave today. I want to thank you all for joining me. Man, that's nice. By the way, this smells like green Irish tweed if you're curious, really nice. Excellent, excellent shave today. And I hope wherever you are, you have an excellent shave as well. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.